Alright guys, hey, I'm going to teach you how to use color correction using magic bullet looks and I'm going to teach you how to use slow motion using Twixer and how to use real smart motion blur all in After Effects. So this is what we're going to create today. Alright guys, so that's what we're going to make, but we're going to do this a different clip because I'm awesome. So we're going to go into After Effects, and then you're going to import your clip. Let's keep it fresh and use something else. I'm going to do... Uh, terminal Triple. Sure. So you want to go down and put into the new composition. So it's like that. Make sure it's on full. I like to put it on fit up to 100. And then we're first gonna show. I'm gonna show you how to use magic bullet look. So put it on. Put in magic bullet look. Put it on the layer and then press edit. And it should bring up a new window like that. And so we're on terminal. I'm feeling a warmer, a warmer like camera. So we're gonna put curves. Uh, we're gonna bring down, make an S shape. This is all we do with this curves, because we can do the rest on the other curves. So make an S shape. That looks pretty good. Bring this down a little bit. Just mess with it. And now you want to go to subject, right? I think no. And then go to mat. Sorry, go to matte and then go to diffusion. This just brings out the lighter, lighter stuff. Makes it look a little cooler. All right, go to post. Go to lift gamma grain. Now this this is what we're gonna mess with. The gamma, I think we should go down to blue. And then the gain, go to like orange. Ooh hoo hoo, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice right there, guys. So now you want to go to Lens Vignette. This is the cool part. It makes a nice dark vignette around your thing. Mess with it. Try and make it not too dark. Try and make it balanced too. There we go. And now you want to do Soft Edgeness. It's the same thing as the vignette, but it's blurring it out. So it makes it even cooler. Gives it like a nice dreamy effect to it like that and now press ok and bada bam there it is so I told you not to mess with the other curves so we're gonna do curves here so RGB it's kinda dark so bring it up a little bit here just a tad just make it to your liking and then go to red since we're going to like a warm feeling so bring up the reds a little bit there you go there it looks pretty good right there didn't do much with that, right? So now to go to glow. Alright. Just bring it on to the layer and it will look like shit. Yep, it looks like garbage. So put in like 90%. Uh, it still looks pretty bad. 95. Actually, what, 98? Whatever. And then go to 1.5 glow intensity. So this is what it looks like right now. And now you want to. Put on an adjustment layer, so we're gonna do another blur to make it even nicer because we're awesome like that. So I'm teaching you how to do a Gaussian blur. You could do the new adjustment layer. Just right click on the layers and just put adjustment layer. And now you want to make a mask, so press the pen tool and just go around your video around it. it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you are a perfectionist, it does look better if you do take the time. And now just go to Gaussian. Just put Gaussian blur on it. Just type in Ga and it'll be the first one. Put it on the adjustment layer like that. What the fuck? Alright, just make sure it fits on the whole thing. And now you want to put the um, blurriness to 1.9, 9.5, and it blurs out the inside 
but you want the outside. So you want to press M on the adjustment layer, press the mask 1, go to layer, mask, mode, subtract. What this does, it just blurs out the outside like that. And if you look closely, you'll see a line right there where the blur just cuts off. So you want to just feather that. Just go to mask, mask feather to about 200, and then it just evens it out like that. Makes it look really nice. So now that's out of the way. We can go back here, and what you want to do now is find where you want to slow down. So mine's probably around right here, right when he gets the triple. So there, there they are, all lined up perfectly for him. And there's the shot. So I'm gonna just slow it down right there. Just go down, put in Twixter, put in Twixter Pro, right on the layer, and it'll do this. It'll just turn red. Don't panic. Just put. Twixter on the top effect and it should do what it's supposed to like that all right so now just keyframe the speed no speed percentage go down to effects Twixter output and then you see the keyframe go to the next frame and go to as slow as you want I personally like 5% so 5% and there it is. Now it gives it like a nice little motion. And the last thing we're gonna do is put in real smart bull motion blur. So RSM. Do the pro version because we're pro like that. Put it on the right layer, guys. And then put the I main background sensitivity. Put that all the way to 100. And the motion blur to 0.7. So I'm going to render this out and I'm going to show you the before and after and how nice it looks now. And thank you guys. Remember to subscribe and please help me out. Please give me some more subscribers. Send this video around to anyone who's trying to edit. And give me more suggestions on any more like tutorials I should do. Put it on the comments below. Favorite this video. Do whatever you want. And I'm probably going to do a Black Ops commentary. So watch out for that. Thanks guys, please subscribe, enjoy your videos, enjoy editing, and see you later guys.